Italy. The governor of Kaduna State in northwest Nigeria, Nasser Erufai, is a man that is never far from grabbing the headlines for varying, varying, varying reasons. Governor Erufai is in the news again, this time for positives as far as the advocates of women empowerment are concerned. The governor has appointed two more women as special advisors into his cabinet. According to the statement made by his media aide, Muyo Adekaya, the new special advisors who are among the 17 aides appointed by Governor Nasser Erufai are Stella Amako as a special advisor on community relations and Zainab Shew as a special advisor on social development. So, the impacts of this, Jide? Yes, um, as governor of a state in the far north, uh, don't forget that for so long women had been denied their rights. They had never been treated as equal to men um, in that part of the country. And uh, that was why people like Gambo Sawaba, the rest of them, uh, used to fight in those days. But Herufa has been showing so much confidence in women, giving them responsibilities. He believes that women, if given the opportunity, can even do better than men in many uh, 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 positions. positions. Remember that she gave, I mean, he gave Adiza Bala Ahmed the yeah. job of the chief of staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The MD. And not uh, many MD. people. Not many. I've not even seen where it happened, where a woman was made chief of staff hmm. in any state. Yeah. But that's yeah. a very powerful position. position. We are, in fact, it's like you and the governor run the state if you are chief of staff. So, and it's the same Bala Mohammed, I mean, uh, Adiza Bala Mohammed that he recommended for the job or the MPA job. She's shining like a minister. And she's doing well. Adiza has had to look eyeball to eyeball, you know, look uh, uh, people, um, some members of the uh, uh, port cabal, eyeball to eyeball, and they, they came back to beg. What many people before her didn't have the courage to do. To do. To she showed courage, quo. she challenged the status quo, she looked them uh, eyeball to eyeball and told them, look, you have to do this or you'll be dead with her. They were the ones who crawled back to our feet to say, sorry, we'll do exactly what you want us to do. So now in this case, if Kaduna has 13 commissioners and Erufai has made four of them women, mm -hmm. the fifth one, that is Commissioner for Health, is, is already, uh, her name is uh, going to be sent to the house mm -hmm. for clearance. So in Kaduna, you now almost have uh, men and women almost equal in terms of the cabinet. The well, number of men and women will be almost equal. That's to tell you the way that the value that he puts on these women. And when you, you even look, the way he even hunts for them is also significant. Because there was a girl that came to um, uh, the Kaduna uh, State Government uh, Empowerment Scheme. It was an event. And she spoke passionately. She was a youth core member. The next thing I said, look, if you can speak with so much power, uh, fire coming out of your belly, it means that you can work for us. And already she's now been made a uh, special assistant for, uh, on the environment. That's another woman, young woman. Mm -hmm. So he's giving confidence to women. And look at the, 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 uh, the deputy governor. He's a woman in the whole of the north. That's the only state that has a woman as deputy governor. Not only, she, and she's not a spare tire. Erufai went abroad, and during 10 days of preparation for presentation of budget, this woman led and coordinated the preparation. So Erufai said, well, I'm not around. So why can't she go and present the budget before the house? Hmm. So right, they said, she's the acting governor. She should go and present it. And she went and did a good job of presenting the budget of the state. So what he's doing is really, you know, he likes to do always, something he's new, new. He's something unique. Yes, 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 he, he, yes. He, he, he's, he's very inventive. He has his own uh, problems, which, you know, I always talk about. I'm not his fan. But <laughs> you must give it to him that he tries to do the unconventional most times. Mm. 
Okay. Many times people will not really see uh, the wisdom in going that route. But there is always a reason behind every action mm. that, that uh, Malam so, Erufai. Yeah, so, um, um, I, have, um, I have observed Malam Erufai from afar and I have seen his style. His style is, um, I, I think, when you have entrenched interests and you have um, an entrenched style that had pervaded over a very long time, a man who comes with a very different approach will naturally have some of these problems that El Rufai has had. Um, he's unconventional, mm. but I think that so he's, also a man, he's also a man who understands the times. Um, as you look around the world, the, pen, the, the pendulum of social power mm. is tilting in favor of women. Yes. And we need to recognize that. And if look he has... Look at what is happening in Rwanda now. Exactly. They have so, more, more women in the cabinet. cabinet. So it's something we need to admit. That is the way the world is going. Mm. There is the tilting of social balance in favor of women. And mm. we need to recognize that and give them their place within society. And I think that most of these women, rather than like some do cry really but I think that they should earn it now if you have five women in your government then you have one third of, of, part, of, of, of part of the cabinet that's what it basically says out of 14 you have five women so that's it. That's it. <laughs> you, 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 you have a very good balance I think so um, Malame Rufai has done well for the women folk <laughs> and let's hope that um, it, not only will it set has it has it set a precedence for others to follow. Uh, I also hope that it will also count for something for him on the political front, for his own political capital. Now, do we, have you got it to that level, you know, of, um, you know, saying that, okay, the, the next business dispensation, women can come out conveniently as in for the highest office. That's I think, I think the presidency. It was, um, Wisho Mole, who said that a few years back during um, one of the um, this council uh, events yes, in Lagos, Lagos uh, what, what's, what's the full meaning again? The Council uh, of uh, uh, Committee of uh, Committee uh, Lagos, of, uh, Lagos uh, Women, uh, women. <laughs> <laughs> Officers or something. Uh, wives of Lagos or something. It's like wives, wives. of Lagos. Wives. Okay. Lagos officials, officials yeah. mm. okay. so the, the, led by the uh, wife That's of the right. governor, and Oshomole said there that look, it's about time that Nigeria produced um, a female president. If if we if Germany can produce a female chancellor, chancellor, and the defense minister a woman, oh, you know, I I don't see. Any reason why a woman can't do the job of running Nigeria? Every time we've given them the opportunity, you know, Obasanjo used them a great deal. Mm. And those women were the stars of Obasanjo's administration. They said we want to deceive ourselves. Kunjuwala. Kemachikwe for aviation. Yes, obviously. You know, Kemachikwe was so firm that in the past, VIPs will not go through any security check. They will just drive their vehicle straight to the foot of the aircraft. Can Majikwe put an end to the nonsense? Do they do that abroad? He put an end to the, in fact, he suspended the, the, the man who was running the airport at that time. Say, this would not happen. Let's have discipline. So women, you know, these are fiery women. Um, the other woman, Obi Ezekwe Sili. Fantastic woman, very strong. In the mm. cabinet of Obasanjo at that time, mm. I remember one of the ministers told me that that woman can defeat anybody in an argument that if they wanted anything from Baba, they would first go and beg her. Please, <laughs> this thing, we, we want to present this thing. Don't, don't, if by the time we start the argument, we start, we start mm. our presentation, so don't, please, don't, don't butt in. Because if you butt in, Baba will go your way. Because she can't, she, she's very persuasive in arguing, and she's brilliant, she's very cerebral. So they will first go and lobby her. Mm. So if the woman now <laughs> refuses to talk, they will have their way. Mm. One of the former ministers was mm. telling me, I said, so, so Obi was this uh, effective in that cabinet. So there were many of them, many of them. You see? So if we give them the, the opportunity, I believe that our women can excel. And even the woman in Kaduna, based on what I hear about her, the deputy governor, Say by eight o'clock she's at her desk. Mm. She's very firm. Mm. 
She doesn't tolerate any hint of disrespect to her position, you know? And she's brilliant. She's a medical doctor. So she has earned her place. Mm. I just hope that in, in northern Nigeria, we will continue to give women opportunities um, uh, to, to, to hold elective positions, to, 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 to win elective positions, and even uh, to get them into the cabinets of different states. And I'm I, sure I, that I, they will deliver. I also think that that will change the narrative around there and give inspiration to the uh, younger women mm -hmm. in the north generally yeah. and across mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. And women should mm -hmm. stop thinking that politics is simply for the men. Mm -hmm. The men, sh you shouldn't be uh, used by the men simply to mobilize you to come mm -hmm. and vote because you but determine who wins election. Come and sing you know? Know? So they too should get involved. <laughs> and our men should not also resort to violence and in, uh, actually during um, primary yeah, elections to stop women mm, from winning. If you look at Adama, for example, you know, they have, uh, I think, uh, Senate, mm -hmm. that they have uh, two women also. I think the women, it was this last election, uh, women actually did well in, in Adama mm -hmm. State. Okay. And, and that's the way it should be. Okay, my Sen uh, uh, he has led, the, he has shown the way. Mm, my, my, has shown the way. my producer just told me that council is... Um, Commission, um, um, that, uh, committee, wife, of committee of wife of legal state uh, government officials. officials so, uh, that's the uh, thing. Uh, Those are the G is not there. Yeah. You know, we got yeah, it. Yeah. We got yeah. it yeah. in the end. So we hopefully it. we have the likes um, of women. And, and, they and they will not be quick to sow the Ankara because it's always the Ankara. <laughs> when so elections the Ankara. You see, the Ankara <laughs> is a tool of mobilization. <laughs> If they don't bring, give, give me your own, you know you are not part of the you are not there. So the Ankara is a factor in the election. So, 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 so,